So a neural network is the network of artificial neurons. It tries to simulate our human brains and the neural network has many layers of the neurons. And the first layer will receive the input like image, video, sound, text, or anything. Then the input data will go through all network layers and the output of one layer will, will be fed into the, the next layer. Uh, so there are many millions, there are millions of parameters in neural networks and the neural networks can be used to recognize things. For example, like neural networks can be used to recognize that there is a dog or, the, the, or there is a cat in the, in the image. Um, so there is a need to have big data in training neural networks, just like human, just like us. Actually, humans take advantage of big data. Imagine a person perceives like 30 frames, 30 images per second. That means 1800 images per minute and over 600 million of images per year. So that's why we should give neural networks a similar opportunity to have the big data for the training. Yeah, so there are many, many applications of neural networks like uh, facial recognition and driverless cars. So for example, like the faces detected by the smartphones of uh, camera will be recognized by the neural network. Or in, in another application, the driverless car um, equipped with all the multiple cameras, try to recognize the surrounding environment. So the autonomous car are able to recognize other vehicles, recognize traffic sign, stop sign, and from the recognition, the car can change the speed automatically and even does a brake to avoid any potential accidents. So neural networks were invented a long time ago. Then it went through the long, long hibernation due to all the lightweight models because of the compute, computational cost. So recently it grows again thanks to the advanced computational resources like a uh, graphical processing unit, it's called GBU. So that's why now we see the prosperity of neural networks.